tumefika Lela sasa go thank you tumpigie bwana shangu kwa figirigiri kwa shukulani za mwaka mpya kwa mahali bwana ametufikisha Hallelujah Praise the name of the Lord Yeah I'm Chris nitaongoza kwa katika sifa tukamsifu bwana maana yeye ni Mungu mkuu tukampigie Yesu tunapomwambia there is a power kwa sababu kuna gofu Tupigie Yesu makofi The power of the Lord is upon us Mm-hmm. Oh, the power of the Lord is upon me. Let the devil know I am a winner. The power of the Lord is upon me. Let the devil know I am a winner. Oh, the power of the Lord is upon me. Let the devil know I am a winner.
mkono wako bwana utaweza kutuhifadhi na kutushikilia bwana tunakukimbilia mwanzo huu wa mwaka bwana Mungu wetu mwaka huu wa 2022 tukisema wewe bwana ndiye Mungu mwenye uwezo tutakukimbilia wewe bwana Mungu mkuu wa majeshi hatuna mwingine kama wewe bwana Mungu wetu wastahili sifa zetu na shukurani mioyo yetu bwana Tunasema wewe ndiye msaada wetu wa karibu wewe ambaye bahari kuu ilikuona ya shamu ikategeneza jia mbele zako na hata jorodani kaondoka mbele zako milima ikatetemeka ikadodosha maji mbele zako ya bwana Mungu mkuu wa majeshi at the beginning of this year we declare that you are our god may you have your way may you go ahead of us may you make a way where there seems to be no way streams in the desert oh god 
We appreciate with the crop offering and a celebration of praise in Jesus' mighty name. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you so much. There's a catch in God bless you so much, please. worship team. Yeah, hallelujah. Yeah, happy new year. Happy new year. Yeah, mwaka bado ni mbichi na bado ni mpia and we still trust in God. We look unto him and his mighty power in Jesus name. Amen. Ya yeah, uh, karibu sana wote ambao wana wako kwenye ibada siku ya leo wageni wetu. We acknowledge you later. Uh, we thank God for those uh, following us also from near from far on you on YouTube, Facebook. God bless you so much. Na pia wale ambao mko on site church. Amen. Church without walls imepanuka sasa. Kuna watu wengi wana watch kuliko wale wako hapa ndani. <laughs> Amen. So tunashukuru Mungu uh, dhuhuri yenu nimekoka Yesu ni Bwana majina yangu ni Pastor Isaac kwa ni wageni. Nimekoka Yesu ni Bwana na shukuru Mungu kwa neema yake. Uh, siku ya leo ningetaka kufanya jambo balo na kubiri message ambayo ina uh, uh, um, kichwa chake ni uh, the holy communion realities. Holy communion realities. Maana ningetaka kuongea kuhusu meza ya Bwana na faida yake na pia uh, wakati tunapofanya jambo kwa ufunuo wakati tunapofanya jambo lolote last week the last sunday we had a baptism ndio gapi about tulikuwa na ubatizo ulibatizwa sunday ya yeah, quite a number of us ni wagapi waliogopa kubatizwa ya yeah, kuna wengi walikuja baada wakasema vile niliona ni mimi nasikia nitabatizwa sasa itabidi ugoje kidogo ni sema kwamba ni vizuri kufana mnya, yale mambo unafaa kuyafanya if it is baptism and you need to be baptized get baptized that one can be a great hindrance to your life even to reach certain levels at to access certain spiritual truths revelations kwa sababu kuna kanuni ambazo hautjatimiza na ni za kiroho sio za dini baptism is not sio kitu cha kidini it is something that is the scripture also but uh, holy communion na jo kitu kwa kuhusu meza ya bwana you have a very uh, should i call it corrupted uh, version of the same lakini mimi nimeona kama vile tuliona jumapili watu wakibatizwa mtu anajaza na roho mtakatifu wengine wanapiga dudu siju ukiuliza mtu alikuwa anapiga dudu kwa nini kabla hajapatizwa na naendaka swimming na apiga kidudu akienda swimming bwana Yesu asiwe ni kwa sababu sasa hiyo atio swimming hata kama tulikuwa kwa swimming pool hatukwenda hapo swimming to made up on a different mission that's how to baptize kuna mtu aliandikia akaniambia vile baada ya baptism the, the kind of the veresho aliweza kupata the deliverance alipata kutoka siku hiyo bwana Yesu asiwe kwa hivyo baptism na swimming ni mambo mawili tofauti Inaweza fanywa the same swimming pool the same river pale juu ni ngombe wanakunywa maji ngombe wanachosheka wana, wana na maji hapo juu ya mtu kuna wamama wanabeba maji na mitungi wanaenda kupikia lakini hapa chini tunabatiza watu wanajaza na roho mtakatifu ningekuuliza mbona hiyo ngombe haikujaza na roho mtakatifu iko hapo juu kwa sababu hiyo imeenda kwa a different mission amen that's why ningetaka kuangalia siku ya leo the realities and the power of holy communion why we should take it and when we receive it what are the benefits especially katika mwanzo wa mwaka huu is something that is very key ya ya kwamba tunapochukua the holy communion tuweze ku ku understand taongea mambo mengi uh, uh, kama vile mtu atakavyo niruhusu na kama vile utakatifu atakataka niweze ku uh, kuweza ku shiriki na kusema nikitaka kusema kwamba not only now but also in the days to come every time we are receiving holy communion tupokea na ufunuo tusipokea tu kwa sababu it's another religious ritual it is not just another religious ritual it is something that is very powerful it's an ordinance that is very powerful na maybe tunaanza aza safari yetu uh, kwenye kitabu cha Yohana sita mstari wake wa 53 there are many scriptures that uh, talk of the same thing in the book of Matthew Mark Luke uh, 
But let me start somewhere. Luke chapter 6, uh, um, John chapter 6 and verse 64. Uh-huh. Six fifty three. Uh, this one of the great eyes that Jesus said. Jesus said uh, that is six kwanzia pale twenty five and I say I am the bread of life. The the one of the great I am's Jesus said, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. He said, I'm the bread of life. Na sasa kasema, mustari wa kia tatu, Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. Unless you eat the fresh and the, uh, the son of man drinks uh, uh, of the fresh of, uh, okay. Jesus said to them, I tell you the truth. Unless you eat the fresh of the son of man and drink his blood, you have no life in you. Whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood has eternal life. And I'll raise him up at the last day. For my flesh is real food. The highs are very high. Sound. The highs are very high. For my flesh is real food and my blood is real food drink 55 for my flesh is little food and my blood is little drink 56 whoever eats my flesh and drinks my blood remains in me and I in him just as the living father sent me and I live because of the father so the one who feeds on me will live because of me this is the bread that came down from heaven. Your forefathers ate manna and died, but he who feeds on this bread will live forever. Hallelujah. Upon Yesu, Kusu, him being the bread of life, na kasema kwamba, yoyote atakai kula mkate huu. Na yote atakai this bread is real bread that is verse 55 for my flesh is real food and my blood, blood is real drink na what I need to juma kidogo verse 47 like I said I tell you the truth he who believes in me, he who believes has everlasting life. I am the bread of life, that is 48. Your forefathers ate the manna in the desert, yet they died. But there is the bread that comes down from heaven, which a man may eat and not die. I am the living bread that came down from heaven. If anyone eats of this bread, he will live forever. And, his, uh, and this bread is my flesh which I'll give for, for the life of the world. Matthew 26, 26. Matthew 26, 26, the same uh, episode that kids are going to be able to do it. I will show you the two so that we can have a throw. 26, 26. And now this was... Uh, Twenty-six, twenty-six. While they were eating, Jesus took bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat, this is my body. Then he took the cup, gave thanks, 
and offered it to them, saying, Drink from it, all of you. This is my blood of the covenant, which is poured out for many and for the forgiveness of sin. I, give, I tell you the truth. I tell you, I will not drink of this fruit of the vine from now on until that day when I drink it anew with you in my father's kingdom. Hallelujah. Now, nataka kuweza kuangalia ah uh, okay maalum nimeanza kuna mambo mengi nitakataka kuguzia kuhusu Holy Communion. Hai ni mambo ambayo Yesu alifanya Victor to the last supper he did it with the disciples. Na bila sema walipokuwa wanakula hakuna mkate ulikuwa special to hold your Holy Communion. Hakuna mkate ambao ulikuwa ni special it was just the the part of the bread but bao walikuwa nakula ndio walichukua na hapo ndio ingeweza kuweka kuweka disclaimer niseme kwamba sometimes kwa sababu ya um, mahali tulitoka maybe si tulitoka wapi tunaweza kuwa tuna namba mengi na mawazo mengi ya kwamba yakoba mkate ni lazima uwe ni specific lakini nataka kuambia kwamba now in the season of grace hata nikiwa mimi kwa nyumba huwa na break bread Na si kama nataka kutafuta any special bread I just take the bread that I have in the house the juice about iko nayo kwa nyumba kama ni ya mango juice fruit juice natural ama ni ya kununua kwa duka I use it bana sio asifiwe so ukiangalia hapa si kama Yesu alikuwa anasema kwamba it is a certain specific wine or juice ni ile walikuwa natumia siku hizo so dio tutuweze tusiende tena uone pastor amechanganya hapa raibena na maji alafu anatupatia na sababu ni damu ya Yesu Kristo sasa ukianza kupotezea nini hapo imani hapo itakuwa tu ni kajuisi na unajua ni kajuisi kadogo utakunywa si kwamba ni chupa moja la kupatia but if you receive by faith kwamba i'm doing as the lord led and uh, tutasoma mali bibi anasema kwamba do this as often as you do in remembrance of me amen Kwaivo, it was not a certain, a certain uh, bread it was the bread that they were using na sasa ningetaka kuangalia kwamba one of the greatest benefits of eating bread is that that bread when you eat it with the revelation it carries with it the, the life of god the zoe the life of god kwa kigiriki it was zoe z o e the, the, the god's kind of life inaigiaga ndani ya system yako the god kind of life the mind of christ the kind of body he carried wakati tunapopokea mwili huu na damu yake kulingana na neno lake akasema this bread is real bread this bread is real bread na inapoingia kwa maisha yako there is a kind of life you receive meaning hata huwa inaleta hata uponyaji tukiona kwenye kitabu cha first corinthians bila sema that's why some of you are weak there is a strength that you receive when you take holy communion by revelation not religiously bwana yesu asifiwe so there's the joy life of god that comes in to the person who takes the holy communion with revelation and there is a divine strengthening ukiangalia wakati huu kile kinachofuata baada ya baada ya uh, uh, the last last supper is now the betrayal of the the the, uh, the betrayal of Jesus na soon after his crucifixion so wakati alipokula huu mkate there was a divine strengthening and he was able to face whatever it is that would come ahead of him in a few hours time nami naomba kwamba tunapokula mkate wa huu na damu hii ya Yesu Kristo we shall be ready to face this year 2022 with its hardships and its battles and its challenges betrayals and whatever it is that will come our way we shall handle it not by might but because the zoe life of god will be in our bones in our flesh in our blood in our soul 
in our spirit and in, the, and in every member of our body, you shall be able to, be, to stand in Jesus' name. But I saw Sifiwe. Siku moja, mutumishu wabwana Daudi. I think I should get there. Akaja wakua, wakua, wakiwa na jaa sana. Na walipokuwa wamekuja wakiwa na jaa, that is 1 Samuel chapter 21 and verse 3. 1 Samuel chapter 21 and verse 3. 1 Samuel chapter 21 and there was no other bread. He spoke ule mkate which to me is a likening of a Ino kati Daudi ya mekibisho sana na na, na Saul. David men, watch an answer instead of because David went to Nob to Ahimelech the priest. Ahimelech trembled when he met him and he said, Why are you here alone? Why is no one with you? David answered Ahimelech the priest, the king charged me with a certain matter and said to me, No one is to know anything about your mission and your instructions. As for my men, I have told them to meet me at a certain place. Now, then, what do you have on hand? Give me five loaves of bread or whatever you can find. But the priest answered David, I, will, I, I don't have any ordinary bread on hand. However, there is some consecrated bread here, provided the men have kept themselves from women. That is consecration. David replied, Indeed, women have been kept away as usual. Whenever I sent them out, the men's things are holy, even on omission that are hold not holy. How much more today? So the priest gave him the consecrated bread, since there was no bread there except the bread of the princes that had been removed from the, before the Lord and placed by hot bread. On that day, it was taken away. But let's ask you it. Ukiangalia, ukifata yu story, Daudi ya mekuja, hana, hakuna, hakuna, hakuna mkate, ordinary, he was talking of ordinary bread and uh, the shoe bread. Ule mkate ya mwani kuwa katika uwepu wa mwana. Akabua na, 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 na ule ule kuhani, akabua kuhani, utaiza kule ule mkate, so long as wewe umejitakasa, na wale wanaume mkona wamejitakasa. Wakasema, of course, tuko katika vita, hatuko manyubani kwetu, kwa hivyo, sisi ni wasafi. So, ukiangalia kutoka hapo, this was one of the elements of David's success. Because he ate bread from the presence of God. So, th that bread gave him the strength to break. So, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the blood and the body, when we eat it with the revelation, it will give it to us it was like a weaver's what? Ni kama ile kitu ya kushfuma. Ilikuwa mkuki mkubwa sana. Wewe una imagine upango ulikuwa unatosha naje? Si hata ulikuwa maybe urefu wa Daudi mwenyewe. Sasa upanga bao unatoshana na utawezaje kupigana na wewe mwenyewe na nguvu zako? Hapo unahitaji divine power. Bwana Yesu asiwe. And there was no other sword except the sword of Goliath. Na akasema that is was uh, a campaign the sword of the uh, the priest replied, the sword of Goliath, the Philistine whom you killed in the valley of Era is here. It is wrapped in the cloth behind the effort. If you want it, take it. There is no sword here but that one. David said, there is none like it. Give it to me. Nakutoka hapo. It was exploit after exploit. I commission you this year at the beginning of this year. At you take this bread this season. Yakomba it will be exploit after exploit hata kama sauli atakuwa kitu kimbisha maana nakwambia mwaka huu kuna masauli kuna vita zingi kuna upizani mwingi hata kwenye taifa kuna mambo mengi yanapangwa na ufalme wa giza but we are going in the strength of the lord and with the sword of goliath tutapigana vita katika jina la Yesu Kristo amen now hapo nimegusia mambo mawili one nimegusia Ya kwamba, when you take bread from the presence of God, there is a divine strength you receive. That one, 
Dia kwamba you also receive the grace of a breaker. I wish you get part of time when Daniel chapter 23, chapter 24. How he, he fought battles. How no one was able to stand against him. Because he met and he received bread from the presence of the Lord. Tukirudi pale kwenye marai tumesoma John 6, 53 to 54. It has ever come by, I tell you the truth, unless you eat the flesh and the, of the Son of Man and drink his blood, you cannot have eternal life within you. There is an eternal spirit. Somebody say, eternal spirit. There is an eternal spirit. Yani eternity. Maybe, okay, okay, I can do the new makido. There's something I want you to get. Hatutgoje tu kufika binguni. Mungu anatarajia kwamba we bring the kingdom here on earth and his will to be done here on earth as it is in heaven. When you are receiving the body and the blood, you bring that other side of eternity to this side of eternity. Sikaba tunaelewa. Yakoba hatu wakati umeokoka umemkubali Yesu hatugojiagi uzima wa milele uzima wa milele unazanga nao wakati umeokoka and when you receive that bread and that wine which is now the blood of Jesus you also strengthen you receive that eternal spirit and you start living in eternity kutoka upande huu ile siku tukakuzika it will be just a crossing. She is talking of receiving the eternal spirit. It is that uncertainty of the future. Uncertainty. The fear of tomorrow. But I you shall not have the fear of tomorrow. You shall not be afraid of death. But I say, come what about Na mimi ndiyo gope kifo. What is the difference? Kama mtu wabaya miyokuka tunajua vizuri, alisimama vizuri, amekufa, ama he has gone to be with the Lord. Sisi wa kristo tunalia, na makafiri wanalia. Now where is the difference? Manaisu wa sifiri. Mimi sasa nikuwa ni attendant wa mazishi, mimi sikuwa na zikana, so mimi nikuwa mshirika hapo. Na kithi there is something I looked at this, nikachua kuna karevelation wa konako, Ana kama sisi wengine atuelewi wanajua huyu mtu ameshinda. Yaani ile celebration ilikuwa hapo hakuna mtu alikuwa analia. Nikasema hawa kwa kona celebration. Sasa sisi wengine tunalia mpaka tuna tuna faint, tuna kibisho na ambulance hospitali. We have an eternal spirit. Hallelujah. Bwana Yesu asifiwe when you have received the Jesus Christ in you as an eternal spirit. Eternity I I does a siku nitakufa hata sasa i'm living in this side of eternity kabla sija cross over kama Yesu hajakuja ndiye the other side amen bwana Yesu asifiwe so there is the receiving of the eternal spirit kwa hivyo tutatembea na uoga don't walk with fear of death don't walk in fear and with uncertainties and whatever life may throw you away just know I have eternal life in me. Amen. It also confirms it, uh, the witness of the Spirit. It confirms the witness of the Spirit and it also brings to remembrance. That is 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 24. The Bible says, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said to, to, uh, uh, he said to them, take and eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Do this to call me to remembrance. What are we bringing to remembrance? When we eat the bread and drink the blood, we bring to remembrance the transaction about in Fanjika Kipale Msarabani. Yakoba kifo cha Yesu. Alipo tundiko Msarabani. Maybe I can quote one. 
Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14. Colossians chapter 2 and verse 14. When we eat the blood, when we take the blood and eat the blood, the Bible says, verse 13 of Colossians 2, 13 and 14, the Bible says, when we, when we, or I was dead, who are the same apple, we are appropriate to say, he the young, see here too, it is personal. Who come if you come to say, that's what Malik will be you, say me I. Hallelujah. The Bible says, when you, or when I was dead in my sin, and in the circumcision of my sinful nature, God gave, gave, made me alive in Christ. He forgave me all my sins. Verse 14, having canceled the written code with its regulation that was against me and that stood opposed to me, he took it away, nailing it on the cross. Verse 15, very, very important. And having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. Hallelujah. Wakati tunapokunye ile damu na kule ule mkate, we are bringing to remembrance that transaction. Yakobo wakati nikuwa ni mekufa. In my unregenerated life and mind, he died and he forgave akadisa medha bizangu. Kisha kafanya nini? Kisha akaweza kukanso. He made me alive in him. And he, he canceled the written code. Aka kanso maandishi yalikuwa ya miandikwa juu na kinyume yangu yalikuwa ya nanipinga. Manaesu wasifiwe. Before you were born again. Kuna mabo mengi hard writings zilikuwa zimiandikwa. Zinasema wewe, hawezi ukaenda mahali. Wewe, jamienu, hii familia. Nimesheo na tukiombea watu deliverance. Marawi nasema hapa tumekua miaka mingi. Na hapa tulisema hakuna mtu wataolewa. Hapa tulisema hakuna mtu watasoma. Hapa tulisema. Mwanaesu wa siwe, natagaza siku ya leo. As we bring to remembrance, as we take Holy Communion, we are bringing to remembrance today. As, 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 it, as if it were alive today. When Jesus died, Yakoba the written code. Kira umebi ulirisho kio mtoto mdogo. Kira ulikula mali ukenda mali kwa pati ukafikia ni pati ya kawaida. Lakini kwa hile pati kuna vitu ulirishwa. Tunatagaza every handwriting. Abo nise mekana wale watakunywa chakula hiki. Wakikunywa hii hi, hi, pombe. Wakikunywa kula hii hi, nyama. Wakikula tumeungamana nao katika ulimwengu wa kiroho. Tuna cancel his transactions. Because there was a superior transaction that was done on the cross in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Therefore he cancelled. He cancelled. What else did he do? He disarmed when we are taking that which Jesus did 2000 years ago. That same is happening today. You are disarming. Wegini unapokula ule mkati wengine kwenye system yako kuna mishale ya magonjwa ya cancer imerushwa kwenye mwili wako. Kansa ya damu, growth kwenye mwili, demonic arrows, demonic programmings. Wegine kuna program bimepango ya kwamba mwaka huu, kuna magoja kita kushika, lakini natangaza. By the reason of the blood of Jesus Christ, we are canceling every transaction that has ever been recorded. Anything that is standing against you, opposing your progress in the year 2022, it is destroyed by the power of the blood and the body of Jesus Christ. Somebody say, I believe in amen. The Bible says, and having disarmed the powers and authorities, he made a public spectacle of them, triumphing over them by the cross. Natagaza pamoja na mimi. Judas. Natagazia mwakahuma Judas utawajua. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Those who, people who look like them, like Adumatu and Neonatio. Hiyo ni tongues. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Watu wanaifama kama ni hao na sio hao. Marafiki wanajifanya kani muko pamoja. Unampatia raina pia mwaka wote. Unamweju mini mwazi watatu. Nimepanka hivi. Mwezi wane nataka naza kujaga nyumba. Na ni mchavi unadiru na ye. Anaenda. Anasema hata jenga. Hata jenga. Rafa kukiachana kwa bebe. Mbisa hiti kafifu tekafia. 
anabeba ka 50 hako anakapeleka moja kwa moja kwa mchawi nasema huyu mtu alikunisikia alisema anajenga nyumba nikasikia vibaya sana hawezi jenga nyumba mbele yangu hebu fungai pesa yake natangaza katika jina la Yesu Kristo ya kwamba as we take the holy communion in the betrayer that the enemy has set on your way you shall discover them utaona tu utawajua e wataweka mkono wao mahali unaweka utajua na huyo tiwe najua huyu na huyu mtu sio vile namfikiri yanga bwana Yesu asifiwe haleluya so the betrayer alijukara saa hizo bwana Yesu asifiwe that is the same scripture a uh, spirit and testified i tell you the truth one of you will, is going to betray me his disciples his disciples stared at one another as a ross at a ross to know which of them he meant one of them the disciples whom jesus loved was reclining next to who uh where was i one of them the disciple who jesus loved that is john was reclining next to him Simon Peter motioned to, to this disciple and said, Ask him which one he means. Leaning back against Jesus, he asked him, Lord, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I will give this piece of bread when I have dipped it in the dish. Uh, then, the, uh, then, dipping the, place, the piece of bread, he gave it to Judas Iscariot, son of of Simon as soon as Ju Judas took the bread Satan entered into him what you are about to do do quickly Jesus stood him Vanessa was free so wakati wakula holy communion ni wakati pia Mungu atakufungua macho ujue ni watu ni akina nani Vanessa was free natangaza tutaishi tu na watu hatutaishi na blindness hiyo blindness katika ulimwengu wa kiroho ndio may cost many Christians kwa sababu usiku unaota na mtu usiku unapigana na yeye lakini kwa biashara ni rafiki yako ndiye ndi lazima ki, kitu cha kwanza ukifanya kwako jibani lazima ajue paka unamwambia jana usiku kile tulipika na hata vile mzee baba watoto walifurahia na sana hizo chapo ukitkuwa na kitu unataka kufanya kuna shamba mnanua sijui wapi ni wa kwanza kuambia lakini naye wakati unamwambia hivyo ana smile ana green kwa uso lakini kwa moyo wake anasikia uchungu nasema kali kwani kwani kwa kwa wewe utakuwa ukiendelea hutaendelea sasa bwana Yesu asifiwe niulize how many marriages have been broken by best friends best friends ni wakati ambao ulikuwa umeanza relationship mnakuwa kwenye kwenye my best friend hallelujah why next time to understand who people are in Jesus name. Hiyo blindness katika mwili wa Kristo ni kitu kibaya sana. Amen. The other thing that, that happens or the benefits of holy communion is that it opens spiritual eyes. Luke chapter 24 verse 30 to 44. Luke chapter 24 30 to 34. Luke chapter 24 The Bible says as they sat down to eat he took bread and blessed it then he broke it and gave it to them suddenly their eyes were opened and they recognized him and at that moment he disappeared what precedes this story ni wakati wanafunzi walikuwa wanatoka hapo wakienda wapi Jerusalem wakienda wapi a mouse imagine Yesu amekuja amewa join Now they are discussing that latest news. The latest news in the social media. Vile wabunge walitwagana makode kule parliament. Unaona kama huyo mmoja ni kidogo tu aligogo hapa kama angegogo hapa macho ingeenda. Sasa unaanza kushia hiyo story unasema ati nini oh nani huyo? Nasema kwani wewe ulikuwa wapi? Hujasikia ile vita ilikuwa huko parliament. Si kama sasa ni mtu ambaye hajui hiyo story ni mtu ambaye maybe sio mkenya <laughs> but that's what now the news of the hour was the death of the righteous man na matukio aliyotukia ile siku alikufa kukakuwa na mtetemeko kukakuwa na giza he sasa it was it was trading sasa jamaa amekuja mwa join hapa paka mbaza kwani wewe ni wapi kwani wewe ni mgeni hapa 
na mwenye wanauliza ndio mwenye story can you see that kind of blindness yani mwenye wanauliza ndio mwenye hiyo story hey ati arafu hey arafu hey watch ikafika saa tisa eh hey, arafu arafu akajifanya anapita a mouse akambia hey, eh brother na huko unaenda kuna hiyo kwanza ukivuka hapo coach kwenda ile ngambo hapo wewe utavuka utauawa hapo si please ingia hapo ulale akaingia all this time hawajajua ni nani wanadeal na yeye na nikwambie many times we even have angelic visitations right in our homes in the places of work unatembea na mtu unafikiria mtu unatembea na sio mtu ni malaika umefungwa macho haujui hata unaogea ngara paka <laughs> unajibu mtu ba na sio mtu unajibu ni malaika kwa sababu umefungwa macho how many times have we missed divine visitations because our eyes were closed you did see a man or that woman or that individual as a, a god sent na nikwambia kuna hatari kubwa kama utumie na malaika akuongoze kufanya kitu fulani akuongoze kufanya jambo fulani mimi nasema sina time ya kuingia hiyo issue ya angels lakini mimi nasema nitapatia malaika awaende mbele zenu mkue waangalifu uh, msimkasirishe maana huyu hata wasamehe bwana Yesu asifiwe when you take holy communion the moment he took bread he blessed it and he gave them pop their eyes open akasema ndio huyu Yesu that moment we will realize sure i can disappear i pray for you in jesus name yakoba hutajua mungu alikutembele wakati ameenda ndio unajua na ni gai au magai au malaika alikuwa malaika may you know that it was an angel it was god who had visited you from the moment umekuwa na encounter na huyo mtu mkianza kutembea unaanza kusikia senses zako zinakuambia na usio mtu wa kawaida huyo sio mtu wa kawaida this is a divine connection hiyo si simu ya kawaida hapa kuna mlango unafunguka i pray for you this year in jesus name yakoba hautapoteza opportunity yako maana hukufunguka macho haukujua kama mungu ameleta yule mtu mikoroni mwako kwa sababu anataka kukonnect na mtu mwingine ambaye atakukonnect na mtu mwingine ambaye atakupeleka ule mlango ulikuwa unataka kuingia ile kazi ile biashara bwana yesu asifiwe watu wengine by the grace of god wali ni hudumu kule mlimani i get to know a lot of people na some mtu anakuja okay mtu anakuja ananiambia niko na hii shida ananiambia pastor ile shida mimi ile hata mimi nitapa mlimani ni hii haya alafu pande huu mwingine kuna kuja mtu mwingine na baby pastor hata ukijana hapa mimi die die manager wa kampuni fulani tafanyanga hivi na hivi na hivi ah akiniambia hivyo nakumbuka na siku leo brother alikuwa ananiambia kuhusu ati amejaribu kusijifanya nini kwa kampuni fulani so kwanza na sort kesi yake alafu na mwambie na kuna mtu alikuwa amekuja hapa naweza mconnect unapigia yule mtu anataka kufaint anasema ati nani huyo huyo hata huwezi kumfikia nikamwambia don't worry brother mimi ndio niko na connection chukua hii namba nimepatia story yako the lord has given you as he promised observe this ceremony which is this ceremony i'm avoiding to read the whole of uh, chapter 12 because it is talking about the pass over the pass over okay kuna acha ni niangalie kuna mama wadi ingetaka kushikanisha hapa wacha nianze mstari wa kwanza exodus so that i can connect like two three points here Uh, for for us for future reference and for now <clears throat> the lord said to moses 12 verse 1 and aaron in egypt this month is to be for you the first month the first month of the year to the whole community of israel that on the 10th day of this month each man is to take a lamb for his family one for each household If any household is too small for a whole lamb let them share one with their nearest neighbors having taken to the account the number of the people they were the, that are there you are to determine the amount of lamb needed in in accordance with what each person will eat okay 
so there's the instruction ya ule ndama atakuwa kiwa size gani twende bere kidogo verse 12 on that same night 12 of 12 12 right last year or the beginning of this year unaona mwaka huu kuna watu wengi sana wakubwa wamekufa mwanzo let me tell you even if you are considering yourself a dog like mefif boshed you are better off and i declare to you this will mark the beginning of your beginning may this year be a year like no other i think mimi ni shida ile neno nisikia mko meka ndani yangu kwenye kitabu cha isa 43 bila sema i'm doing a new thing i'm doing a new thing can't you see it i'm praying that as you take holy communion you start going to start to see that new beginning wacha shetani kukuhubiria na kile ulifail last year vile hiyo biashara ili sink vile ulifutwa kazi natagaza this will be the beginning of beginnings number 2 or number numbers you naandika ngani bibida sema ya kwamba that is verse verse 12 on that same night i'll pass through egypt and strike down every firstborn man animal and i'll bring and animals i will bring judgment on the gods of egypt somebody say the judgment of gods when you take holy communion there is the judgment of gods Jia moja watu unganishwa na madhabahu ya miungu mingine it is through food covenants na hii nimeshaiona tukiombea watu na mpatia holy communion deliverance yake kuanzia siku hiyo mtu vile alikuwa anaisha kiubwa na tumbo na kusikia vitu zinatembea kwa tumbo sijui inatoka wapi vitu zinatembea kwa mwili anasikia ni kama nyoka imeingia anasikia nyoka inapita huku inaingia kwa tumbo inakuja hivi inaenda kwa kichwa hiyo mambo inafika mwisho This was the Bible says in the book of Isaiah was not Isaiah but Ezekiel chapter 20 Miguel that scripture Ezekiel Ezekiel chapter 29 Nime 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 quote hiyo na nikaweka kidole hapo kwa sababu kuna kitu ningetaka ushike when the children of israel were delivered from egypt one of the things that happened in the spiritual realm was the judgment of the spirits of pharaoh of pharaoh and the uh, the principalities were living in river nile listen to this ezekiel chapter 29 leo tunafunguanisha watu na madhabahu ya gekoyo na mombi na mlimani na madhabahu ya Lake Victoria na ya Milimani. Ya, yeah, siji uko ni mlima gani iko huko na kaya bombo. Na jolly jacket. Tunakutenganisha in Jesus name. Ya kwenu ni gani? Kiama kia maheni. Tunawatenganisha in the name of Jesus. The Bible says on that night he judged the gods. Now listen to the special transaction in Ezekiel chapter 29 verse 1. In the 10th year or, or in the 10th month of the 12th day the word of the Lord came to me son of man set your face against who Pharaoh king of Egypt and prophesy against him and against Egypt speak to him and say this is what the sovereign lord says what does he say to some of komoja I'm against you O Pharaoh king of Egypt you great monster lying amongst the streams You say the Nile is mine. I made it for myself. But I will put hooks on your jaws and make the fish of your streams stick to your scales. I'll pull you out from among the streams with all the st- fish sticking on your scales. I'll leave you in the desert, you and the fish of your streams. You will fall on the open field and not be gathered or picked up. I will give you as food to the beasts of the earth and the birds of the air. That's verse six. Then all who live in Egypt will know that I am the Lord. Eh? Uh-huh. But that's was few. Now that is a prophecy. Now that your prophecy goes forward and backward. Prophecy, prophet and as onyesho kule mbere. Na inaonyeshwa kule nyuma. Now this was a prophecy ya kufunulia alionyeshwa sawa msibwe shobana Ezekiel kile kilifanyika those days 
For the children of Israel, sasa, he nyoka, it was a principality. So when that covenant was, was, was put into place, that principality ilishikwa. Wale watu wabawa walikuwa katika scales zake ni wana wa Israeli. So walipotolewa, walipotolewa katika iyo maji, that special transaction, the children of Israel were set free. Siku mba tunaelewa? Deliverance starts in the spiritual. That same night, each transaction in Ezekiel 29, it happened that night. Which night? This night, I'm going to be in a On this night, I will bring judgment on all the gods of Egypt. Obey these instructions as a lasting ordinance for you and your descendants. When you enter the land, the Lord uh, will give you as he promised, observe this ceremony. Now this is the ceremony you are going to do today. And when your children ask you, what does this ceremony mean to you? Then tell them, it is the Passover, the sacrifice to the Lord, who passed over the houses of Israel in Egypt and spared our homes when he struck down the Egyptians. Kano Ate nasio sia nasia nyui ge kamulia Ne moga sia ratia Kwa leo muziki kikuyu Ni kumalisha kwa ba, watoto wenyu watakapo uliza Ni kwa nini munafanya hii ceremony Mutawambia ni kwa sababu Hii hi, hu ni ukumbusho Wavile tulikombolewa kutoka Kwenye ufalme wa waisida Wa misiri tukakuja katika nchi hii Banaesu wa sifiwe Banaesu wa sifiwe Now Sijua poki hapo nimeguzia Point moja, point ya pili ni ya kwamba That ceremony Was a ceremony of exemption Somebody say exemption to activate the spirit of exemption kwenye maisha yako it is will be a sign of supernatural exemption that the angel of death alikuja anaangalia hako anaangalia ni nani alikuwa anaangalia mark wherever there was a mark of the blood anaruka ilikuwa inaitwa pass akikuta damu anafanya pass over that home is exempted so kuna pass over Na kuna exemption. Whenever you take the Holy Communion with the Revelation, kuna mabu ya tafajika mwaka huu, but I declare to you, you shall not be a victim. You'll be passed over. You'll be divinely exempted. Wanaesu wa sifiwe. Exemption in the zakute na jia nyingi. Unazeta mahali watu wanaitisho makatasi, wewe igisho bila makatasi. That is an exemption. Wanaesu wa sifiwe. Okuta nyubako imeripi ya miaka miezi sita. Rato na kwa bie mini me, umeshe. Si uliripa ni yona kwa kautu kuna pesa. Please. Ujifuze kwenye maza. <laughs> Banaesu wa sifiwe. I thank God for you muibaji. Jifuze kwenye nini? Usiaza kusema pana niti tumete siku tuma pesa. Ukiabia rato wa divyo. Kwa bie oke. Okay, Kerea. Aki kwa bie umeripu ya nyuba muambie. To God be the glory. Mi ni wa mungu. Na hiyo pesa ni za mungu. Wanaesu wa siwe. Exemption is when things happen in favor of you particularly. And it doesn't happen to everyone else. Wanaesu wa siwe. I decree you will be passed over this year. And there will be also a divine exemption in Jesus name. Especially this year. There are a lot of things that are about to happen. But you will be exempted. Wanaesu wa sifiwe. Kama kuna exemption ya tax. Kuna exemption za aina nyingi. Wanaesu wa sifiwe. So, niseme ya kwamba, hapo, jika mwanumeshika yu point ya kwamba, the previous point, ya kwamba, covenants are broken. Principalities, holds are broken. Wanaesu wa sifiwe. Nidatagaza kwamba, we shall not be victims. Mwaka huku na madhabahu mengi ya tainuliwa. Na mengine kweda kustrengdeniwa. 
Yeah. Wengi wataenda sasa utakuta uh, viongozi wengi wetu wa kisiasa wakienda kuvalishwa ngozi ya chui na kofia ya Yumnyama anaitwa nini? Tubiri. Na napatiwa mkwajo mwingine umekuwa hapo for the last three centuries. Mwambie hii ndio fimbo ya kabila yetu. Tutawagu tuamudhuri wa kiama. Tunakataa hayo madhabahu na tutatawaliwa na miungu ya mababa zetu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. We are serving the living God and the gods that did not keep the heavens and the earth they must disappear from Kenya and from under the heavens in Jesus name and from our tribes and from our counties in Jesus name. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Finally, the video to say kuomba tujia kusu being passed over marks a new beginning. Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 24. And Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant, and to the blood of sprinkling that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. This blood speaks better words. The blood of Abel, Hebrews 12, 24. The blood of Abel, 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 the blood It is going to speak for you better words. Better words than that show show who cast you. Better words than that priest from that uh, uh, kingdom of darkness, from his altar, who spoke cursing your womb, cursing your children, cursing your business. Natagaza, the blood of Jesus, it is speaking better words for us this year than the blood of Abel. Damia Vita. Damu ya kulipisha jikisasi haita simama katika jina la Yesu Kristo. The Bible says in the book of Hebrews chapter 11 and Moses kept the what? Kept the Passover that the avenger of blood could not access. Hebrews chapter 11 I'll tell you short to where that scripture is nimeisikia. Hebrews chapter 11 concerning Moses By faith, 11.28 of Hebrews. If you want to note these things, you may not remember everything by, by cramming on your mind, in your mind. That's why you need to have a book, a notebook, and your own Bible. Hebrews 11.28. By faith, that in Ogekus Moses, he kept the Passover and the speaking of the blood so that the destroyer of the firstborn could not touch the firstborn of Israel. Amen. When you keep the Passover, When you keep the Passover, that bleed blood spoke. It is spoke. Paul Rakasema, let nobody trouble you. Let nobody trouble me. I bear on me the marks of Jesus Christ. As we take that Holy Communion, it also marks us. Nimogia Kusut speaks better words than the blood of Abel. That mark we receive by taking the Holy Communion. Inakuondolea kwe, inakuondoa kutoka kwenye any judgment. From the marks, from being troubled by things and issues. Paul akasema, let nobody trouble me. I bear on me the marks of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Finally, the, the Bible says in the book of Judges chapter 7 and verse 13. I believe those are very, very many points in Mesha. Zaidi ya kubina saba. Uh, Judges chapter 7 as verse 13 this is a very interesting story of of uh, Gideon Gideon ameitwa na Mungu ama the Lord is with you or with you oh mighty warrior go I'll give you victory and all that and then there is one hitch anajiangalia anaona ni akana kwamba he is not up to the task anajidharau Mungu akamwambia kabla unaogopa Uh, let me send you somewhere. Judges chapter 7. Judges chapter 7 and verse 13. Akambu utaende na mahali pale usikize na ukisikiza you come back uh, and continue with the assignment. So he goes down to the camp. He went, goes down to the camp of Midian 7:13. Gideon alive just as a man was telling a friend his dream. 
I had a dream. He, he was saying, a round roaf of bread came tumbling into the Midianite, Midianite camp. It struck the tent with such force that the tent overturned and collapsed. His friend, thank God he was graced with the, with the grace of interpretation of dreams. He said, this can be nothing other than the sword of Gideon, son of Joash, the Israelite. The Israelite. God has given the Midianites the whole camp into his hands. Ah, when Gideon had the dream and the interpretation, he worshipped God. He returned to the camp of Israel and called out, Get up! The Lord has given the Midianite camp into our hands, dividing the 300 men into three companies. He placed trumpets and empty jars in the hands of them, and with torches he said, Watch me, he told them. Follow me, my lead. When I get to the edge of the camp, do exactly as I do. When I, I and all who are with me blow the trumpet, then from all around the camp, blow yours. And shout for the Lord and for Gideon. Gideon and the hundred men with him reached the edge of the camp. And we know the story. He had the victory. Vanessa Steven. I'm talking about the blade of dominion. Wamidiani, you know the story. Start from uh, uh, Judges chapter 6. They so impoverished the children of Israel. Man walikuwa nagojia wakati wa mavuno. Wanakuja wanavamia. Wanakula kila kitu. Wanabeba. Wanahalibu zingine. Lakini. Kupatia na ishara. Gido nakabua teremuka kwenye ile kampi ya usiku. Kuna kitu utasikia. Moja amiamka. Unashia yota ile doto unamka ukisweat. Ukipiga duru. Umesweat. Paka mapua. Hiyo diyo doto huu walikuwa nayo. It is clearly dream. Kimukate, imagine mukate. Umekucha, umegoga. Sasa yate ya kilifuaja kalibu wa shikuwa na atferia. Nikuwa na kamba, afadhali kekua ni mawe. Sahi ni mukate. Natakaza huu mukate tunenda kukula siku ya leo. Kaneza kuwa ni kapisikadao ka mukate. Lakini wa midiani. Kutaenda ule mukate utabomoa. Kambi ya wa midiani. It will be frattened in Jesus name. I'm declaring this bread. It is the bread of dominion. This year we are dominating. Those mobite spirits, ambazo huwa zinagojia wakati wa mavuno, zinachukua utajiri wetu, hazita weza tena in Jesus' name. Natagaza mwaka huu, we are dominating because the Lord is on our side. We are not taking any, the, any chances. Na tutaogopa. Iri kwa nitishio kubwa sana kwa Israeli. But when that sign was given, a bread rolling down from Mirimani, ikakuche ikabomua. Ah. Alikuwa na usi atatoka pasu. Alienda akamushi watu usiku. Ata kukoja kesho. Alisema, I'm fast. I'm Kenny. Aka issue command. I'm Kenny. Get up. Let us go. With such confidence. Natagaza this year you are facing it with the confidence. Not with the fear. Najua kuna mambo mengi. Kuna, kuna, kuna mambo mengi. Kuna tetezi nyingi. Kuna mambo mengi. Kuna maneno mengi ya naungewa. Wanasiasa wanasema hivi. Wanataka tuigwe na uoga, lakini we are not facing this year with fear. We are facing this year with confidence. Not because of what we have or what we carry, but because of the God we carry in Jesus' name. Nataka tutagazi ya dhuhuri ya leo. Yakoba sisi ni zaiti ya washindi. Katika jina raisu kristo. Yakoba mwaka huu. Inamisha uso wako. Just open your mouth and declare this year. I'm facing it with confidence. As I receive the Holy Communion today. This is not just another traditional thing to do. This is not just another religious ritual. This is not just a Christian tradition. It is something that is speaking today. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, today we are declaring that something new is happening. We are declaring today that something new is happening in our families. Something new is happening. Doors are opening. Battles are being fought. Covenants are being broken. Tunatangaza. Yakoba tunahuisha. Tunafanya upia, even magano, tunafanya magano mapia siku ya leo, tunafanya magano mapia, ni kuambia kia, maybe the last one, ni kwamba this covenant, it, it, it is the beginning of a new covenant, it is a season 
to renew a covenant ni vizuri ku note that last point ya kwamba this 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 blood and this blood it is for a new covenant tunatangaza mwanzo tunatangaza mwanzo mpya tunatangaza mwanzo maagano mapya tunafanya na Mungu katika jina la Yesu Kristo reka bashata baganda reka yandari mazaya sheka tarabaganda reka basikeri maganda reka yandari bashata ba ni asante Yesu kwa damu yako ni asante thank you for this ordinance of the blood of Jesus and the body thank you for this is this is bringing a a new season a new beginning the blood is speaking the better words of the blood of Abel the blood of dominion I'm receiving oh divine exemption it is a reminder of my redemption I pray this and I declare that these things are they are happening today in the name of Jesus Christ rekaya dari bashata baganda rekaya dari babuza kabaganda rekaya dari babushanda ombia moyo wako asuka dhuri ya leo in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ rekaya dari bashada rekaba shata baganda rekaraba sika baganda Yes I know Yes I know Jesus blood the precious sin has cleansed Yes I know Yes I know Jesus blood can make the vile sin a clean Yes I know Yes I know Jesus blood can make the vile sin a clean Yes I know Yes I know Jesus blood can make the vile sin a clean Say yes I know Yes I know Yes I know Jesus blood can make the violence sin a free Yes I know Yes I know Yes I know Jesus blood can make the violence sin a free Sing yes I know Yes, I know. Yes, I know. Oh, Jesus, God, get me the violence in us free. Yes, I know. 
Mungu wetu mimi wetu miko wetu mbele zake Bwana adhuri ya leo Bibi nasema kwamba anyone who wants to eat that bread must as of a necessity ni lazima ajiangalie jichunguze kwenye moyo wake for whoever eats this bread and drinks this cup you must proclaim the Lord's death until he comes therefore whoever eats the bread or drinks the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be guilty of sinning against the body of the blood and the blood of the Lord a man ought to examine himself before he eats of the bread and drinks of the cup for anyone who eats the, uh, and drinks without recognizing the body of the Lord eats and brings judgment upon himself that's why many among of you are sick and many have fallen asleep but if we judge ourselves we will not come under judgment ndio nikasema tukiwe muda nafasi hiyo kuweza kuambia bwana takasa moyo wangu nirehemu bwana i know many times we have ever taken the holy communion in an unworthy way na wakati mwingi katukuletea haya hukumu katuletea magonjwa ikatudhoofisha and i believe that kuna wengine walikufa kwa sababu walikula the holy communion in an unworthy way I pray that none of us be found to be guilty of such a sin in the name of Jesus. Tuko tumesimama hivyo. Maybe uko mahali pale haujaokoka. You are a backslider whatever happened over the holidays. Nafasi ya kukupigania. Kuja hapa mbele kimbia. This just a it's a window of opportunity. It's a small window of opportunity. The Lord is opening unto you today in the name of Jesus. There is no better way ya kuanza mwaka kama kuanza kama umemrudia Mungu the creator of the alpha and the omega akakupatia mwanzo mpya uko pale bado una debate within you walk out of the devil mwambie shetani na kuondokea walk out of the devil this is a year of many challenges lakini wale wataweza kusimama ni wale wataweza kuwekwa alama mpya mwambie Mungu ninataka kuanza na wewe mwaka huu Wacha kuvutaniwa if nasikia kuna tag of war nasikia kuna watu wanavutaniwa nafungua hiyo minyororo imekufunga na kufungua kutoka hizo demonic chains I set you free come to Jesus come to Jesus come to Jesus Hallelujah Yeah I see quite a number of us here Sisi tuko ile mungu mkono tumwambia Mungu ni asante Thank you for these souls Thank you Lord for these souls. Wameondoka kutoka kwenye ufalme wa giza. Wamekuja kwenye ufalme wa nuru katika Kristo Yesu. Wale ambao tuko hapa mbele sisi mikono yetu mbele zake Bwana. Wale ambao tuko hapa mbele not to mikono mbele zake Bwana. Tuko tu mikono as a sign of surrender. Not to mikono mbele zake Bwana. Mwambie yes Lord I have come before you. Nimekuja mbele zako. Unajua jia zangu, mwelekeo wangu, unajua udhaifu wangu unajua chochote kinachonihusu receive me again today we thank you for the self saving grace wale walio hapa mbele tunaweza nyamaza walio kule nyuma wale hapa mko hapa mbele kwa inua mikono utarudia nyuma yangu sema bwana yesu sema bwana yesu siku hii na jumapili hii nimefanya maamuzi kwa hiari yangu mwenyewe kukurudia nisamehe kule niliondoka kwenye njia zako nirejeshe kwenye kundi lako andika jina langu kwenye kitabu cha uzima cha mwana kondoo ukaliondoe kwenye kitabu cha kifo kuanzia siku ya leo nitakutumikia Kristo mwana kondoo wa Mungu na kuanzia siku ya leo nafanya maagano mapya ya kukutumikia na kukuishia na kufuata njia zako e bwana nisaidie roho mtakatifu wa Mungu kuja juu yangu ukanijaze ukanisaidie kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu mwaka huu kukawe na mwanzo mpya ikawe ni mwanzo mpya ukawe ni mwanzo mpya katika jina la Yesu Kristo Tuinue mikono tu tunapowekelewa mikono kupokelewa katika madhabahu haya Father in the name of Jesus we receive these brothers and these sisters in this altar today 
siku ya leo tunawekelea mikono mwakaweze kupokea roho wako mtakatifu neema ya kushinda dhambi neema ya kustahimili neema bwana ya kuweza kusema la kwa kila aina ya uovu na kusema ndio kwa mambo ya haki na utaua na watenganisha na maagano ya kishetani natangaza mwanzo mpya juu ya wasichana wa, wa, hawa wa, wa mama hawa wazee hawa kuanzia siku ya leo they have begun a new walk with you in a decree a new season over their lives in the name of Jesus na watenganisha na magano mengine yote na watenganisha na vifungo vingine vyote every demonic yoke that has been pursuing your life i command it to go in the name of Jesus i set you free from every demonic connection say wale tuliofuata na madhabahu na magano ya giza natagaza hautafuatwa tena in jesus name in jesus name sasa mmeokoka na utachukua majina yenu utachukua majina yenu na pastor weru make sure au jatoka tukikula holy communion the first person utaona ni pastor weru uh, kuna kuna mwongozo atakupatia with the way we start working with you afresh na bwana atawapatia neema sasa umeokoka tutawapatia nafasi baada ya ku confess ni miokoka lakini hata ukienda nyumbani anybody who cares to listen mwambie mimi ni miokoka god bless you we will keep the first thing you will see you amen amen hi that's not the way to celebrate the victory watu kubwa wakiokoka hey hallelujah blessed be the name of the lord for the grace of salvation what a way to start the year with souls coming to Christ what a day what a day many souls coming to Christ Jesus we thank you and bless you in Jesus name amen wow what a way to start the year what we give you kuokoka wow that's a great that's a great that's a great uh, testimony today amen now what us to receive the bread asha so majitalisha we have the body we have the bread with us na ile bread tunatumia tu ni bread ya kawaida this is the bread we are using and this is just fruit juice ya kawaida tu tumenua kwa supermarket i want to that to sanctify to pray for it and then we are going to distribute it niseme kwamba kile kingekuzuilia kupokea meza ya bwana ni kutokoka peke yake and and uh, and since that you have not confessed kama ume confess it na biza hata wale umeokoka saa hii useme kwamba mimi nimeokoka leo sifai eh unajua kulingana kwenye tulitoka unaweza fikia kwamba mtu kula holy communion ni lazima akiwa amepitia siju imefanya nini amefundishwa siju masaa mafundisho gani no that is not scriptural the scripture ni kwamba yote amempokea anaweza pokea meza ya bwana amen so what us to pray for the bread we have many breads uh at atinde just kama umeokoka utapokea yeah the one who bora umeokoka utapokea kama uta utakoka that's the only hitras amen so nataka tuweze kuombea this elements in the name of jesus baba katika jina yesu kristo tukushukuru kwa mikate hii ni mikate tu ya kawaida ambayo ni available katika kizazi chetu tunayombea mikate hii yakoba now this not be ordinary bread tutaitanganisha na wenye kuitengeneza even the business wamehusika kuileta mikononi mwetu tunaitenganisha na sasa tunaipokea kwa shukurani and the bible says that when you took it you broke it i break this bread in the presence of your people and lord we receive it with thanksgiving and as we receive it today it will not be just but another bread but it will be bread from heaven and this bread is true food and this drink is true drink na wengi ambao wamekuwa kisumbuka na tamaa zisizo za Mungu as they drink this blood that evil that evil rust that evil thirst itaondoka and they have the thirst and the hunger for righteousness in Jesus name father this is just ordinary fruit juice lord god might has just come to us through uh, through the businessmen to kainua ikaja mikononi mwetu lakini tutakasa this fruit juice in the name of the father son and the holy spirit as we receive it we don't receive it just as fruit juice we receive it as the body and the blood of jesus 
and the possibilities and the realities of the blood of Jesus it is going to manifest in this year of the Lord year 2022 in the name of Jesus Father we thank you even as we send you are our workers to distribute the juice and also the bread Lord we see it with thanksgiving in the name of Jesus we pray Utabaki kama umesimama tutagawanywa tutaongozwa na pastor wetu vile tukaanza tusimama you just take the one uh, cup and bread na usikule kwanza tutagojiana in the name of Jesus so kuna zile los tutaweza ku wengine uh, watatangulia na mkate we need more ashes you just take a piece of bread remain in the spirit, in the spirit usiondoke until you receive the bread and the cup in the name of Jesus just continue praying kuna mambo mengi ambayo tumeongea jioni ya leo about almost 20 points just tell the lord today i receive i receive the blood of jesus today the blood of the new covenant let nobody pray, trouble me in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ and of the living god rekaba shata baganda rekaraba zikama ganda in the name of jesus christ rekaba shata baganda rekaba shata baganda Yes Lord God Almighty we look unto you today to na worship in the name of Jesus Rekaba zikaba ganda we look unto you king of all glory in the name of Jesus Oh Rekaba shata those watching online you can also take a cup you can take any juice any bread around you we pray together we receive together Mambo ya kiroho hayana distance hayana space wherever you are you can join with us as we take the holy communion from this end and the lord is going to minister to you in the name of Jesus Christ of the living God Yes I know Yes I know Jesus blood can make the violence in a cream Yes I know Yes I do Jesus blood can make the violence in a queen Yes I do Yes I do Yes I do Thank you. 
gives them power through the mouth this makes a way find the wall receive the desert down the night it go and I know
Now we are going to receive it together. The Bible says in the book of First, First Corinthians, chapter eleven. And I say, for I received from the Lord that which I also passed on to you, that the Lord Jesus, on the night he was prayed, he took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, "This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me." Baba no be kila mkati abu meshikwa na kila moja wetu katika madhabahu haya wale wanao tutazama kutoka mbali as we do it together we do this in remembrance of you we thank you for this bread and i break it today in the name of the father son and the holy spirit na kuomba kwamba huu sio mkate tena this is your body give it for the new covenant for the remission of sin for healings of diseases for deliverance oh god for breaking yokes and dominions oh god for that tumbling blood that was seen by by the, the by the Moabites is the same that we receive today you can take the body in Jesus name you can receive the body and thank God for it in Jesus name the Bible says verse 25 in the same way after supper, he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again. Baba Napake Kobahiki, Kamadam Yako. Now, this is the blood of the covenant for the remission of sin. It's a new covenant. Even this new year, we renew our covenant with you. Covenant of service, of faithfulness, of stewardship. O oh God of holiness, to walk in integrity, O oh Lord. By your blood, let it speak for us. Better was than the blood of Abel. You can receive that cup in Jesus' name. You can pass the cup to the left. Can pass the cup to the left to Indianisha. Pass it to the left, let's go from this end, let's go from the other end, let's go from the other end. Pass the cup and then lift up Ukisha Patele Kombe. You know me Konayako Sasa Berezake Bwana. Katika Jina Raiso Christo. Yes, I want to do this now to take a declaration. Nana Jua Kuna Wengi Mtafungulua Sikuya Leo. Kuna Atum Ripatua Vifungo, Murifungo Kupitia Kwa Chakula. Kuna watu damu yenu, kuna vitu, kuna mahali niwekwa chanjo katika maisha yako. Demonic chains that were given, demonic marks, tattoos. Mwagine yomba kwa niku munalindwa kwa mejami yetu. Natangaza, those demonic chains, those covenants are being broken. In the name of Jesus, natangaza uhuru wa kira moja yetu. Inua mikono yako bere zake mwana. Najua kuna wengi ya matumeteswa. To me, this one and dot on buyer, Magano Mabaya Viacula, Magano Yamaneno, Natagasa Yodamu in Anena Mazuri, Kurekodami America Tikajina Raiso Christo. I remove those words, I remove those words that the monarch had writing over your life. I cancel it in the name of Jesus, Natagaza Kohoro, Katika Jina Raiso Christo, Kwanzia Sikuri Natagaza, Yakamba Yotari Kome Fungwa. Mandishi ya likome ya nikuwa kinyume na wewe Ya nakupinga Natagaza hayana uwezo tena I set you free I enter you to a new covenant The covenant of the blood of Jesus The covenant of the blood of Jesus Natagaza mwaka huu You'll be having breakthroughs upon breakthroughs You'll have favor You'll be exempted You'll be passed over I decree a Passover in the year 2022. I decree a pass over your family, pass over your marriage, pass over the place of work, pass over your, your business, pass over whatever it is. The enemy has planned and it shall not happen, and it shall not come to pass. Even over the nation of Kenya, Natangaza pass over divine exemption. In the name of Jesus Christ, Natangaza kwa siku ya leo Pando ote sio na mungu Kwenye mwini wako Magonjo ya kansa Magonjo ya fibroid Impotence Balendence You have no place Natangazia magonjo ya mifupa Ikaontoke katika mwini wako Any demonic growth 
mgonjwa unataka kujiunga kwenye mwili wako natangaza ukaondoke katika jina la Yesu Kristo I declare you are more than a conqueror through Christ Jesus Father we thank you Father we thank you I pray for the Zoe life of God over your life the life of God for this bread is true bread and that drink is real drink may it satisfy you may you be quenched of every evil thirst tamanio lako likawe ni Mungu njaa yako ikawe ni kupendeza Mungu chakula na nyama yako ikawe ni kutenda mapenzi ya Mungu pokea nguvu za kufanya mapenzi ya Mungu pokea nguvu za kustahimili pokea nguvu za kuweza kupambanua maroho pokea nguvu za kusoma neno pokea nguvu za kupigana vita pokea nguvu za kustahimili katika jina la Yesu Kristo I decree you shall not be a victim this year you shall be a victor in Christ Jesus I declare you shall not be defeated you shall defeat your enemies just like Gideon defeated the Moab the, the Moabites you shall defeat all your enemies the Lord shall open your eyes to see kuna mambo utasikia wengine wasikii utapata utawanuzi wa maroho katika jina la Yesu Kristo Ndwa tu mikono yako ni kunenea baraka as we conclude this service in the name of Jesus Father we have done this O Lord as a remembrance of the transaction you did at Calvary Street 2000 plus years ago and we actualize it today we appropriate it in our lives na natangaza siku ya leo yakoba mwaka huu na mwezi huu na siku ya leo it marks the beginning of beginnings kuna tutaenda kufungua page mpya maisha yao kuna watu wengi wataanza kukuona utafungua macho yao wataanza kuona hata wanapofungua neno lako wagina huwa wanafungua neno wanaanza kusinzia natangaza wengi watafungua neno lako kuanzia siku ya leo they shall see wonderful things in your word now do every scale scale sababu zikwekwa kwa macho yako zikaondoke na kuanzia siku ya leo ukaanze kuona katika jina la Yesu Kristo masikio yako yakaanze kusikia moyo wake ukaanze kupambanua Father we make even a fresh covenant today we renew a covenant of service this year 2022 we will serve you we will seek you we will follow after you our heart's desire our meat and our bread will be to do your will father i thank you we seal our lives by the seal and encrypt our lives by a, an, an indecryptable seal the enemy shall not be able to access our lives those who have been monitored by monitoring spirits natagaza kuanzia siku ya leo umewekwa seal you mungu make a password to yako and i declare that nobody trouble you anymore for you bear on you the mark of jesus christ that wewe hautakuwa ni chakula you will not be pray for the for for the for any demonic power you will not be pray for any animal of the field or demonic forces in the name of jesus father i thank you for your word i thank you for the healing i thank you for the deliverances i thank you for the salvation in jesus mighty name we declare Tewe pigia bana Yesu shamba na vigege tukapo malizia in Jesus name. Amen, amen, amen. Tukiwa tumesimama na zatalisha you are offering it's good to, to celebrate the praise of God by offering a sacrifice, thanksgiving. To say at the beginning of the year it's good to give a sacrifice either even fast food. Sacrifice ya ku dedicate a uh, mwaka it's good to give a sacrifice. You can take an envelope in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ you need to take ne a bahasha yako uiandike wale mnatazama kutoka bado unaweza your offering to pay bill number 793116 ama mpesa 0722 113215 kama ni uko mbali sana njia nchi you can put, you can uh, uh, forward to that number then you can be upstanding tutaongoza vitu tutaita sadaka zetu hapa mbele reka bashata bana yes the beginning of the year it's good to give offerings be faithful in tithing be faithful uh it's supporting the work for every partner god bless you it will honor ile kazi inaendea hapa kila siku ya na bado kuja kamilika 
simu lako inazidi kukiwembeka na bado hatujaweka alamarangi yanayofaa tujaweka mataa bado so you can imagine hivi litakavyomalizika it will be a very beautiful sight to behold rekabash tunaomba uwepo wako uende nasi mwaka huu bwana ewe bwana wa majeshi utusikie kama huu wendi nasi hatutaki kutoka hapa hatuwezi peke yetu enda na mwambie bwana Mungu wetu tunaomba tunaomba wepo wako wende nasi mwaka huu bwana tunaomba Mungu wetu ewe bwana wa majeshi tusikie kama huu ndi nasi baba hatutaki kutoka hapa hatuwezi peke yetu enda nasi ndio sadaka yako bele zake bwana niombe katika jina la Kristo baba hii ni ombi letu siku yote tunaomba uwepo wa kukuende pamoja nasi ife na sipe ya watais give us sacrifices our thanksgivings oh god ia dedication offering and for sacrifice ya watoto wetu ya marriage yetu ya biashara zetu pato seeds that we are releasing because of the battles ahead of us oh god i pray that as your servant as i receive them on this altar may psalms 20 be the portion of each and every giver may everyone tithing receive the tithers word wapigania wapendo hawa vita wanavyopiganwa kule nje vita katika biashara vita katika mahali pa kazi vita vya watoto wao vita vya waume wao vita vya wake wao even the extended family say begin wazazi wao wako na hali mbaya za afya kila mara wanapopata pesa wazazi wanakuwa ni wako na shida natangaza Mungu wetu ukainuke ukapigana hizi vita i pray for every business for every uh, calling for every uh, employment and every opportunity and every contract ambayo imekuwa ni presented kwenye madhabahu haya Mungu wetu kaikumbuke pigania wapendo wa hawa may this be an year of total triumph over the enemies and i declare that this year we are shining in darkness and i declare that this year we are receiving new things we are going to new realms and new levels and the devil can do nothing about it will be more than conquerors through Christ Jesus i speak the life of god into your hands and may you excel and may whatever you lay your hands on prosper may the lord deliver you from wicked men from betrayers and from men of evil intent in the name of Jesus Christ i bless each and every tithe and every each and every offering and every sacrifice na hata wale ambao hutoa sadaka za uovu za kuna jisi madhabahu wametuma katika madhabahu kutoka ufalme wa giza i nullify any a sacrifice i declare it is null and void by the name of the blood of jesus natangaza kwamba madhabahu haya yatatapika dhabihu yote ambayo ni ya uovu katika jina la Yesu Kristo na itapokea dhabihu ambayo ni ya haki na watu hao watabarikiwa na ni kwa jina la Yesu Kristo tunaomba na kushukuru amen amen god bless you so much praise and worship the take over to go our video tukaweza kutoa sadaka zetu then we will be done god bless you so much those who have been watching those who have followed us faithfully this year mungu atatusaidia kuendelea kwa pamoja na bwana atatuneemesha katika jina la Yesu Kristo Mwambie bwana mimi nitavua